Welcome back, everybody, to another Terraria Adventures video. This is episode three of season three. And today we're going to be talking about some stuff that I haven't done ever. We only have 54 damage. Like, there's some stuff that we need to go over. And there's some things that need to change in this world today. We're going to be doing only that today. Not too much anything exciting so this might be a little bit of a boring video we'll see how it is the first thing that we need to fix is the npcs here i have been learning a lot about terraria lately and this is this is a no-go including the nurse which i do not know where she went why are you over there did i build a house over there since when did i build a house over there what the hell well anyways so we need to find a desert, and there is a desert over here. So we're going to grab some materials real quick. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab some chlorophyte first. I want to grab a little bit of extra stuff here. We're going to grab some chlorophyte. We're going to grab, I believe, either soul of light or night. Let me go to the good old orchelchium thing right here. Let's see if we can do. Okay, hang on just real quick. We're, we're getting where we need to be. We need 24. We have 21. All right, let me see if we have some extra chlorophyte. I did not know I could do this. I thought it was... See, I'm stuck back in the, the olden times of Terraria when there was... Okay, so we'll have to go back to the jungle to do that. First of all, what we need to do is we need to fix some stuff up, though, real quick. So we are going to have to go back to the jungle anyways. We're going to fix some stuff up here. We're going to completely change some things. And maybe uh, uh, in my off time... We'll change the house, but I want to do it on recording as much as possible so you guys know. So I made a little thing right here. This might actually stay right here. This is actually going to be a little, that's going to have vines. I'm going to put some planter boxes in here. As you guys can tell, I got rid of the planter boxes. We need to fix some stuff and we also need to get rid, we need to get rid of this thing right here. This might actually stop corruption. I I don't know. I think it will. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make some more gray bricks. And we're going to make a little nice gray brick place in the jungle. We're going to make some more gray bricks and we're going to do this in the jungle. We're going to make some gray bricks, gray bricks walls. We're going to do a couple things here. There is like, like, like as I said, there's going to be a lot of changes. There's going to be a lot of changes around here. So I might keep this little tower and I might actually, we're going to have to move these chests here because there's a lot of things that we can do anyways first of all we need to make some more gray bricks and then we can go ahead and make some gray brick walls which i'm not sure where we would do that right here all right now we're gonna go ahead and make a place for the nurse and the arms dealers in the jungle reason why is because that's how we are going to get a little thing called the jungle pile or the desert pylon first of all we're doing the desert pylon we will not get any of the other pylons i don't think we're going to be able to do that anytime soon i think what i should do is i should uh i should blow this up we should go grab the contaminator first shoot there's a lot to do where you at there you go there you go get me some of that green solution Hell yeah. Okay, that's actually going to help us. Um, now we're going to go look for some bomb bombs. <sighs> Just so I can go ahead and keep me a desert. Is there a desert over on this side? I know it's a little bit corrupted right here. But, uh, whoa, that was crazy. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and contaminate as much as we can over here. Going to go ahead and purify all this as best as we can. Should make the, I should make the other bombs, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. I should really change the wings that I have. This is the problem with the, with the desert. It's all sand. It's it's so corrupted down here. I think I think I think we failed it, guys. I, I, I honestly, I think we failed the corruption here, or I think we failed the desert. It might be a little bit difficult for me to make pylons or get pylons in this in the in this world, but I can go ahead and. But we're gonna go ahead and build a house right here real quick. Also knowing that a lot of stuff has changed since 1.4 I haven't I got I got I just need a refresher And playing some of the cuz I in my spare time. I have indeed Made a nice little playthrough of my own here. That's a little bit too tall. What the hell am I doing? I made a little playthrough of my own going ahead and uh, 
playing a little master mode uh, for myself. This is uh, also, if you guys are wondering, this is for the, this is for the NPC happiness. This is actually how you get the pylons. They actually need to be happy in order for you to, to for them to just be happy, I guess. I don't know, man. Like, I don't even know. Like, anyways. I don't know. I've been fixing it. I I've been doing some stuff. I don't. I I I, I don't. I realize I don't even have a lot of stuff, and I, I guess I haven't been playing Terraria like I should have been. All right, that's an 18 torches right there. We can go ahead, put those down. Boom, boom. Put, get rid of those. This is just looks like a prison to be honest. That's okay. We don't really care. All we need to do is get them in here. I'm just hoping that this isn't a corrupted house. Let me check, go ahead, check, check, check. Boom, housing is suitable, they're both suitable. So we need to go to the arms dealer, put the arms dealer in here. We need to put the nurse in here. Bada bing, bada boom, bro, there you go. All right, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go home. Hope they move as quickly as possible. They're already over there, let's go back over there. Damn. All right, there you go, look at that. Okay, how you doing? Says, look at that, look at that. And all we gotta do is go to, Br I almost called him Bronson, Tyrone. We gotta go to Tyrone, grab the desert pylon. Hell yeah, put it on the top of the house. There you go, first pylon. First pylon of thy day. And then we need to figure out something. We're gonna put a table and chair, probably in this little room right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Put that right there, put this right here, go ahead. We're gonna, since it's nighttime, I better do this quick. Put the merchant right there. There you go. It's easy, make sure you do this at night because if you don't then. So he doesn't sell a pylon. He, I think he's still a little bit unhappy. There's another There's another NPC too that likes the forest as well. I think it's you, which I think I have enough for the void bag, not too sure. I don't, I don't know, we'll have to check. I hope I'm talking loud enough for this because it doesn't seem like I'm actually talking loud enough for this. All right, 20 minutes in and we already got one pylon. I'm trying to get the, the forest pile on. I'm not sure how I can go ahead. Here, let's put a table and chair in here, actually. Let's actually grab the table and chair that I have in here. Actually, I, I should make actually actually make a table and chair. Do I keep calling the desert the jungle? I don't think the, the desert one is gonna last very long because of the corruption. I think the corruption is gonna destroy it. But right now, as of, as of right now, I, I'm just trying to get the pylons going as of right now. And we're gonna go ahead and go to the jungle and get some Chlorophyte, some more chlorophyte so I can make the true Excalibur. Because I remember when I, when I played the world, I didn't know the crafting recipe changed. I still thought I needed the broken hero sword. I'm stuck in the old Terraria people. I mean, like, you know, I'm, I'm, st I'm stuck in it. Do still need the broken hero sword, but you need the true knight's edge and the broken hero swords to make the terror blade. That's something that is different. So you still need all that stuff to go ahead and make all that. Once we get this jungle pile on, it's gonna be a hell of a lot better. That's probably what people are screaming at me about watching my videos. We're gonna need some rich mahogany. I'm gonna grab as much of this stuff as I can. What are these derplings doing, bro? Get out of here. You guys are destroying my time on building houses for my NPCs. They don't need to be too big. I'm actually gonna make this one jungle theme. It's gonna be great. Things. This is gonna be the last time we ever have to travel to the jungle. Good thing that we have to find the lizard temple, which we could do, but I'm not gonna do in this episode. I know that I, I said we could possibly try, so we can try to find something else. Right now, I'm just, I'm doing some pylons right now. All right, let's move the, zoo the zoologist down here because I believe she will sell me a pylon. But I think I gotta leave the map. I'm not too sure if, yeah. I don't know why that works so well. <laughs> it works so well, you just leave your house and bam. I love the animals, so, so naturally the forest is like the best place ever. But why don't you sell me your damn pylon? Is it cause this place sucks? I can't even tell what biome I'm in cause it keeps raining. All right, let's destroy this and put some dirt back here, to be honest.
actually might use rich mahogany and some nice of the brick walls for my new uh, area that I'm gonna be building pretty soon. Place the door back down. Damn it! I didn't want to place the door down. Place the damn door down. Oh my god. You are pissing me off. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and get rid of this stuff. Yeah, we, we are we are getting rid of some stuff. See, this is why I don't really do it on camera. But let me know if you guys like it. I'm going to use the rich mahogany for this because I'm mixing and matching and decorating. And then we're going to go ahead and use the nice gray brick walls that I have. Nice. This is going to be my new chest room. If you guys are wondering, it's going to be my new chest room and new everything room, actually. It's actually going to be the crib because everything up is actually going to be taken down. Who's giving me pylons? Who's, who's selling? Who likes the forest? Well, that is great. A blood mood in the middle of everything I'm trying to do. So there's a lot of other places that these uh, people can go. Like I'm going to put the dryad in the jungle along with the guy right here we need to put the corresponding people in here there you go we'll get the jungle pile on as soon as they move whoa that was close to me being dead now i just need to go ahead go, yeah okay there you go let, let me get that jungle let me get that jungle pile on like quickly because whoa 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 holy crap bro yeah there it is Grab the pylon. Close that door real quick. I'm gonna grab the pylon real quick before we die. What is this? This is the jungie one. Go ahead and put it right there. There you go. Now if we want, we can go ahead and... Yes! Pylons. That is right. Oh yeah, grab that by the way. Grab that, that, grab that turtle shell. Oh, by the way, yeah, let's grab three. I might actually make the turtle armor as well. It's way better than what I have. There you go. There's two, three. I'm just joking, that's not three. But we're gonna we're going to go ahead and get a lot of these. We're gonna we're gonna get a lot of these turtles to spawn in, so we should get the shells. We should at least get some of them. Come on, give me another turtle shot. I want to make the turtle armor, dude. Turtle armor. Turtle armor is popping, and then I didn't realize that. I want to make me the true true. I mean, before I make turtle armor, I'm going to make my true Excalibur because I am. Not doing good with what I do in this game. And that's why this game can go on for a while. Yes, got one. All right. Let's go ahead and mine some chlorophyte real quick. I want to make me a true Excalibur before I, I put this to Excalibur. I want to make me a true Excalibur before I put this video to an end. Which I should do. I should make the blade of grass. I have the stingers and I think I have everything for the blade of grass. I think I can make the... Uh, the why do I keep getting a, a yellets? Stop giving me yellets. That one sucks. I'll probably end up selling that. We do need some chlorophyte though. I'm not sure if it grew. Maybe I can make me some chlorophyte. Man, that sucks. They never throw parties, bro. They never throw parties with me, man. Uh, it's probably because they don't like me. I cramped them all in that one spot. That's why they they, they don't throw parties with me. I'm gonna grab all of the, all of the chlorophyte because I'm going to probably end up making a chlorophyte farm somewhere underground. All right, we're gonna grab the chlorophyte right now, and we're gonna go ahead and smelt that into some bars right now. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. We only need one of these, by the way. Actually, and the one that we already need is yet yeah exactly. We only need just this one right here. Got nine bars, that's 30 bars, cool. We only need one of these, just the other anvil. And we should be able to make me a true Excalibur from from 97 to 97. Uh, I was also assuming I don't need this either. Is it worth making the true Excalibur? I don't even know, but I just did it. So we are going to go ahead and make the turtle armor in the next episode of Triad Adventures. So stay tuned. Oh, look at that. Here we go. And we got our... We got... Yay. There we go. We got the pylons. That is going to be awesomeness of this right here. All right, guys. With that being said, this has been the Troy Adventures. We are fixing up this world as we go. And this is going to be a real... I've been playing Terraria, Terraria all wrong. So what I'm going to do is before we end the episode, I'm going to go ahead... 
and we're gonna grab all my little things right here, including the little piggy bank, including that. And why are you over here? Please tell me your thing did not get corrupted. Oh God, it, it is corrupted. Ah, oh, man, I gotta, I gotta really fix that. Stop, oh, by the way, we're gonna grab some of these chests here. Probably a lot of the gold ones. I'm gonna go ahead and name them off camera. I'm gonna just name them off camera because I'm just typing, crafting this, that. The sawmill is not gonna be up there because it will not fit. Yeah, I gotta make it bigger. We'll go ahead and do that before I go and start putting things in there. But with that being said, we're gonna do that later in the next episode. We'll, we'll tinker with this later on in the next episode. We're gonna make it a little bit taller. But with that being said, it has been all the time that I have to, by trying to make my world a lot better by getting rid of the corruption, we, which we will do. I'll probably end up getting rid of the corruption some other way, but I will contaminate it with you guys. So yeah, with that being said, everyone, thank you guys so much for watching Drea Adventures Season 3, Episode 3. We are popping off, getting better, getting better gear. We can get rid of some of this stuff right here. I've been learning a lot about this game since I've been watching somebody else play it, do their little playthrough. So yeah, we're gonna be fixing some stuff. We're getting pylons now that I knew I could get a while ago. So yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to subscribe, bye.